Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you have all enjoyed our Christmas in July YouTube hop. If you haven't seen it yet, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description for you guys to go and check it out because you may still have time to join in the giveaway that is sponsored by these great, great companies, Frank Garcia Studio, Spellbinders, and Graphic 45. Now this kit is going to be available for pre-sale on my site. Hopefully you guys can get a chance to go down there and take a look at it. Go ahead and subscribe to my blog and to my blog uh, post and newsletter. So these kits are going to be pre-sale and they're going to have everything you need along with the chipboard and all of the cut cocoa mugs with the centers. I, this is just going to be a process video on how I put together the one in the video. Not necessarily will you receive everything in this kit because it does not come with the paint pen and the cut out flowers. You will get though wild orchid flowers in several blush pink collections along with this kit. So here I am just going ahead and gluing the cups to the base and I just wanted to get the actual bases done first before I went ahead and started altering and decorating decorating them. Now this is inspired by one of the Coco Mug ephemeras in the collection. Now here you see me actually cutting it with an exacto knife. The thing is that I didn't realize that some of the fronts were actually cut out at like the bases and didn't have the centers cut out but they will all have the centers cut out so you can interchange them and it still works as a pocket so i decided to use this one these that i made a boo, boo on for my personal kit so that way you guys wouldn't have to go through the extra work of actually cutting the the centers but you see here this is the difference between the cocoa mags that will be in the kit that have the opening on the top now i went ahead and did that separately so you can interchange the centers the filling of the of the mug in your kit, but also this way it would make it easier for them to be pockets, pockets for your tags, for your ephemera, just like I show here, and for your pictures. Now each tag will be cut out with the Graphic 45 medium tag die and the smaller ones are from the ATC tag die. I will also have the links to all of the products in the description if you are looking for those as well. I love to do kits, but also if you want to purchase the products for yourself, please use the links below. The They will be through some affiliate links. You guys, I recently got affiliate links, so they help me actually bring more content and more projects and products to, uh, to you guys. So hopefully you guys can use my links and also the links on my blog at amateurcraftkit.com, which is also where the kits will be on sale. Now, here again, I am just creating the bases because I wanted to start with the bases on these collections. And the funny thing is I booed up some of the pages as well, which ended up being upside down, but I use those for my kit. So don't worry, your, your, your kits will be right side up. Now, this is a pre-sale for the kit, so you will get everything. Everything won't be named at the moment, but it will be and totally, totally worth your while. I love all my kits, and I make all of my kits as if they were for myself, truly, not just for a profit, so please know that. Here I'm using the Spellbinders Rose Creations die because I have several layers of these roses. Now, this is the rose that I tried first. I, I go ahead and leave some of my boo-boos in the videos because you'll see hey I learned as well the first rose I did I just I did it like traditionally how we do we we roll and 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 spread the flowers and everything so I went ahead and tried it and I use a a stain a a gold it's a vintage gold stain and you'll see this one right here the royal stain and I did it and I didn't like it because it had more a of a vintage 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 gold look to it so it seemed a little dark for this kit because they're all lights and shabbies and these pastels and these creams which I've been wanting to do some shabby chic projects and I've been getting requests from my subbies to put some of these together so this is the perfect 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 project for a shabby chic cottage Christmas so I will also have these kits. Now, my second attempt was with this gold pen right here, the Deco gold pen that you can get in any of the craft stores. They're rather inexpensive. I started to just go around the edges and I absolutely loved it because I loved the way it shined. I loved how light it was and it didn't compete with the rose gold um, with the pink foil in the collection. So it kind of also goes with it because it has that nice bright patina. 
I went ahead and just went crazy, did all of that. Now, I tried two different techniques where I put some of the gold paint onto this little piece of chipboard and I just dragged the cards over it. It came out okay, but still looked a little bit more vintage. Halfway through this, I'm like, hey, I haven't done the edges of my mini album. Let me go ahead and do this. You know, like some of the vintage books, they will have that gold gilded edge and I love that, like it's so beautiful. It gives another element and another touch to your kit. So when you're flipping the page, boom, there is a little gold shimmer just reflecting back and shining back on you. And this is where the gold paint pens really, really go into into work because it has that chi that chisel tip and I'm able to get inside of the handle so I can go ahead and get that filled in. And I just absolutely, truly, I really did fall in love with it. Now, it did get everywhere because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but uh, here is where I actually did the, the paint pen when I actually left it on the chipboard and then I kind of dragged the the tag through it and you'll see it works but it has more of a darker patina to it so it's much better when you just slightly distress it and swipe it across the edges you don't have to do every edge so you don't use that much paint pen you just have to do little bit and bits and pieces like just like one of those gilded vintage for pieces of furniture which you guys know i love antiques and i love the vintage gilded edges that they had on some of them and then they start distressing and patining it's it's gorgeous so basically that's what i was going for now the flower it did have a little bit more gold than i than i wanted to but i was getting so carried away so in the future when i do this i will just be using just a little bit on the edges just like i do in the tags you'll see in the next tags and the next ephemera pieces i do where i do use the chisel tip on the gold paint pen to add those accidents and they're minimal but they're absolutely absolutely gorgeous and of course i use the 3m foam tape which i love using because it's super easy and this stuff is meant for mounting so it super works now as i said in the main video for the christmas in july youtube hop i could not for the life of me find my ephemera i ordered ephemera and i couldn't find it so i said you know what i have several of these journaling cards let me make this work and yeah, it absolutely worked. Always use your journaling cards. I know that some people, when they buy the pocket album kits with the cards, with the journaling cards, three by four and four by six, they end up having so many left. I always tell them, use them for punches, cutouts. Like right here, the top of the three by four card, I use the deer and I cut it out. And then the bottom part that said Christmas, I went ahead and cut it with the Spellbinders So Sweet banner die it just worked perfectly and then i went ahead and just slightly swiped it with the gold paint pen put a little bit of foam tape on there to get, make it more dimensional i also wanted to put tags on the front and also inside the pocket of the cocoa because i thought it was a neat idea to make the cocoa cup as pockets and you can put ephemera and your photo mats in there so I just went ahead and put down the tag. I put some of this chalk seam binding or eggshell. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're both gorgeous. I love both chalk and eggshell seam binding, and they take color perfectly if you're going to dye them. Now, with these little deer, I wanted to use them at the front, but they wouldn't really fit, and I thought it was too much. So I went ahead and just cut them in half. I used the other deer later on in another page. Here are some of the wild orchid fla flowers. There are going to be three different shades of pink that come in your kit, and these will be some of them. So I'm just looking for one of the paintbrushes so I can curl the little edges, and I kind of tuck the little end into it, and I go ahead and place it in the rows that I made. Now, the reason I wanted to order, I mean, add flowers, because I didn't like the one I made that much. So here I am on the tag that I cut with the medium Graphic 45 tag die. I went ahead and slightly just swipe the edges with the with the gold paint pen and it actually worked out beautifully i totally totally loved it and i wish i had done that on the flower but see you learn right here look and i don't do the entire edge i just swipe it on certain parts certain corners just like if i had dragged it on the paint on the on my actual surface so I just went ahead and did that. Now here I boobed it up and I pulled the ribbon too hard and I tore it. So I just glued it back together. Now here are the, here is the heart and the doily framed heart. I absolutely fell in love with this. I've been wanting this die forever. So here I am and look, I also put some of the, just, just a swipe 
swipe it off and you'll see that it adds just a little hint of that gold gilding that old rustic vintage furniture has. Once again, I went ahead and used one of the ATC cards, one of the journaling cards, excuse me, to make my ephemera because I couldn't find it. Seriously, I looked. You'll notice in the video there's a long pause. There's nothing going on. I'm digging for my ephemera. So anyway, I also did place most of the little ephemera on the side so you can put a picture behind it. So you can actually add a little picture. Here I am using another one of the tag cutouts, and these are the 4x6 journaling cards that I cut out into tags to give it that extra special little look because here's the thing, you can also use those as gift tags. If you don't want to use them in your mini album, you can use them as gift tags. But I went ahead and put some of this, and see in this tag you can see it better, where I just literally swipe the edges going onto the front of the tag, just a little bit in the corners and just spreading it around. Not only that, that'll make your paint pan go farther. Here I am using the second deer, and I just went ahead and did add a little bit of the ink of the gold paint pen because I wanted to to actually show that gold gilding. And like I said, it didn't fight the gold, the pink foil on here. Here is the second heart that I cut out, and this is from the print that looks like a sweater. And look, here's I am using another of the 3x4 cards to cut out some ephemera because I can't find it. It's so embarrassing. But don't worry, your kits will come with ephemera. I will look, I will dig through this craft room uh, tornado that happened while I was making this album. Each one of them will have ribbons and trims, and trust me, it'll have tons of stuff. You guys have seen my kits, hopefully, in the past. I do have other kits on my site that it, you can see the pictures they have sold out. All of my kits are for a limited time. Limited quantities, limited time. I will not make more kits of the same one because I feel that it's not fair to everybody that you know that got them when, when they were available. And these kits are only going to be available for a short while. Now, this is here is the bottom part of that card. And I absolutely fell in love with it. I just I just love the fact that I was able to play with my ephemera. But not only that, I said, hey, if you guys don't want to pay for the ephemera, but you want to get journaling cards and ephemera, there you go. Buy the journaling cards, you guys, for any collection. And here I am just moving around these heart dies, uh, cutouts, and also the heart with the doily fit perfectly halfway into the cup. So it was so, it could be like a cup of love. Like, how cute is that? I know, I get so entertained. Like, you guys, I get excited because I'm such a dork. I'm a crafting dork. And here I am using some more of the paint pen on these, on this uh, die, this tag die. And once again, using that eight, uh, that journaling card 3x4 to actually make it ephemera. And I went ahead and make sure this time that I did place that item on the back. So here I am trying to find a punch because of course, am I ready for a project? No, never am. Here is my two and a quarter inch punch, I think. And just again, just just slapped a little bit of that gold paint and placed that on here. Now, sometimes I go ahead and place foam, foam tape on here and I'm like, oh wait, I should move some so I can have a picture. So there I am tearing it out. And see right here, I just slapped one of those little cards inside which you can use as as photo mats because I love the fact that the front has a beautiful image and the back has this pale pink polka dot trim, uh, pale pink polka dot, excuse me, pattern on the back so you can use them as journaling cards or mats. Now, this is some muslin trim. I, your kit will come in a white and also a cream muslin trim, which I tried to put paint on it, didn't work out, did not look cute. It looked dirty, really. And it'll also come with these uh, uh, binding rings. So I just went ahead and cut some up, ruffled it up a little bit more because it did have those torn edges. I did tear them myself and I'm like, it's missing something. And then it just hit me. You know what? Let's add one of these little flowers again, putting some, and on this one, you see, I put the paint pen on there. I just looped it in there and just twisted it, twisted like a little bag twist tie. Absolutely fell in love with it. Thank you again for watching and please go ahead and check out my site, ometercraftkit.com. If you'd like to pre-order this kit and I hope it has inspired you, happy merry early Christmas and thank you for stopping by. Please check out my affiliates as well. Thank you everybody.